Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a new web-based firmware flashing process for SM light adapters. Now for some time we've been able to flash the firmware for Silicon Labs EFR based chipsets by either using the official SM light web flasher or via the darkest web flasher. This gives you the ability to update for ESZP, multi-pan, open thread, or even load a custom firmware, which we have used previously for loading Matter support. Check out the video in the pop-up above. This new feature from SM Lite from their official Web Flasher webpage will give you the ability to perform this with the Texas Instruments CC26 chipset range making this super simple to run the latest and greatest Zigbee firmware or install as a router, convert to a thread router, or even load your own custom firmware. So let's get flashing. So to give you a bit of context on how impressive this new feature is and what a great job the SM Lite techies have done, let's have a look at the official process for flashing the Sonoff ZB Dongle P, which runs the CC26 chipset. Remember that currently the ZB Dongle P is still classed as one of the best Zigbee dongles on the market and is an excellent dongle, but I'll let you decide as to ease a firmware upgrade. Checking the Sonoff website for firmware updates to the ZB Dongle P will lead you to this website. Scroll down to the bottom and find the firmware flashing instructions. This leads you to a PDF with instructions for the ZB Dongle E and P variants. The P is for the Texas Instruments CC26 chipset. Scrolling down to the ZB Dongle P section, you can find there are two methods. The first method directs you to a GitHub page where it talks about installing Python using a USB to serial converter and setting jumpers. The second requires you to dismantle the ZB Dongle P to allow access to press a boot button and use a free trial program from Silicon Labs called the Flasher Program 2 which by the way, the trial expires after 30 days and then requires you to purchase it. If you can find any alternative that's totally free, let us know in the comments below. Now putting the ZB Dongle P into boot mode is tricky, very tricky. Then use the Flash Program 2 to load the firmware that you'll need to source yourself. Tricky? Yep, very tricky. Now let's compare that to the SM Lite process. I'll be performing this on a Windows 11 desktop and upgrading an SM Lite SL ZB 07 P7, but it applies to any of the CP26 range from SM Lite. You will still need the Silicon Labs CP210X USB to UR bridge driver loaded to allow the adapter to communicate with Windows. If you already have this loaded, then use the chapter markers to skip to the next section. Navigate to the Silicon Labs CP210X USB to UART bridge driver webpage. Links in the description below. Select the Downloads menu. Select the driver for your operating system. For Windows, this is the Universal Windows driver. Press Save As. Select your Downloads directory and press Save. Open File Explorer and navigate to your Downloads directory. Right click the file and select Extract All. Accept the default location and press Extract. Now plug in your SL-ZB07P7 or SM Lite adapter that has a Texas Instruments CC26 chipset. Now we need to update the driver for the SM Lite adapter with this driver that we just downloaded. Now press the Windows key and X, then M to open up the Device Manager. Expand the section for other devices you will see your SM Lite adapter listed if you don't already have the driver loaded. If you don't see it here, you probably already got the driver loaded. To confirm this, expand the port section and it will appear. Make a note of the COM port it is loaded against. We'll use this later. Assuming the driver is not loaded, right click the SM Lite adapter. Select Update Driver. Now select Browse My Computer for Drivers. Press the Browse button. Navigate to your downloads directory and select the directory that starts with CP210X. Now press OK. Make sure that the include subfolders is ticked. Press next. You'll be greeted with a confirmation that the driver and the device is now available. Press close. Confirm the adapter has moved to the port section. Make a note of the COM port that the adapter is loaded against as we'll use this later and you're ready to go. Navigate to the SM Lite Firmware Flashing website, links in the description. 
select your adapter from the list. I'll be using the SLZB07P7. Now press update SLZB07P7. A pop-up will appear. Select your adapter from the list, making sure that the COM port matches the one we made a note of earlier. Now press connect. The flasher will connect to your adapter and bring up a selection of firmwares you can load to the adapter of Zigbee Z-Stack, router, thread, or upload your own firmware. Now for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll be selecting Zigbee Z-Stack. Press install. The firmware will now install. This should take only a minute to complete. You'll receive an installation success message. Now press done. Now you can use the same process to switch your firmware to any of the other options available you wish. One final point. There is an option to allow other CC2652X devices to be upgraded. So just in case you wanted to try this to upgrade your ZB Dongle P firmware, I've tried this. Yes, you can connect to the device. And although it doesn't give you the option to automatically upgrade to a Zigbee or a router, it does allow you to load a firmware for flashing. But when you do try an upgrade, it hangs with 0% progress and never gets past this point. I've asked the SM Lite techs if this is even possible. And if I hear back, I'll let you know. Now compare that super quick and simple process to the previous process for the ZB Dongle P. The SM Lite tech team have done a great job with this web flasher, finally making the process of upgrading or changing the firmware of a Texas Instruments CC26 chipset quick and simple. Hopefully this video has now given you the confidence to upgrade your SLZB07P and will be running the latest and greatest firmware or even trying to use this as a router or try out thread. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped you upgrade your device to the latest firmware, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.